Hey guys, today's video is going to be a Q&A video. I got a lot of questions from you guys, and I think I'm going to start doing these videos again. Um, I used to do Poshmark Q&As all the time, but now I'm doing whatnot Q&As because I, I mean, long story short. So I started out on Poshmark, I found whatnot, and I completely abandoned Poshmark, and then Poshmark came out with live shows. I tried posh live shows and I didn't like it. So now I'm back on whatnot 100%. I love whatnot. It's a great place to sell. The community is great. The support that you get there is great. And Poshmark just sucks. <laughs> I asked you guys on Instagram a while ago and I had filmed a video, but it was all out of focus. I, I feel like my settings are kind of back to normal now. Um, but yeah, I filmed a video. It was all out of focus. So I'm like, eh. I'm just going to do a new Q&A video. Um, and I kind of compiled the questions, I got the same question multiple times, so I kind of compiled them. Just stop rambling, Vanessa, and let's go. Okay, first question is, do I think whatnot is for everyone? And the answer is no. Do I think anyone can try whatnot? Absolutely. Do I think everyone is going to succeed on whatnot? No, 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 no. I feel like anyone can resell. Anyone can, you know, go to a thrift store, go wherever, buy stuff, turn around, list it on a platform and sell. The whole aspect of live selling is completely different. You have to have a personality. You have to be engaging. There's so many different aspects that come in to live selling. It's definitely not for everyone. It really isn't. And I've had people that have signed up using my link and they've said, you know, oh, I've had a couple shows. I really like it, but I'm not doing well. And it's like, live selling just might not be for you. It's really not for everyone. Um, because there's so many different factors that go into it. You know, it's very different than just listing something on eBay or Poshmark and just forgetting about it. You have to, I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot. I feel like I could do a video telling you guys exactly how I prepare for a whatnot show, how I ship things. Comment down below and let me know if that's something you guys are interested in. Um, but it's a lot, it's a lot. My husband even said um, the other day, he was like, you know, you work harder on whatnot than you did when you were doing Poshmark and it's true. To answer the question, I do not think whatnot is for everyone. I think, you know, you should try it out, sure, but don't get discouraged if, you know, you don't do well or if you don't like it because it really is not for everyone. Another question that I got often was, how do I get approved to sell? Do you have any tips or tricks on how to get approved to sell on whatnot? So whatnot is different than Poshmark. Anyone can sign up for Poshmark and start selling. Whatnot is selective with who they choose to sell on their platform. So when I signed up, this was back in June. I had an office space back then. I just took a couple pictures of my inventory and send it and that was it basically. No, you do not have to have a social media following to get accepted on whatnot. I feel like that's kind of a myth. People are like, oh, you're, you can only sell on there if you have a following and it's not, that's not true. Um, it helps obviously if you have people that have already been following you because they'll follow you over to that platform. It definitely helps, but it's not a requirement and it's not necessary to make sales. Um, so yeah, so I don't know. That's all that I did to get approved. I did use a seller referral link. I had applied like at the beginning of June and a week went by and I didn't hear anything. And I'm like, I'm super impatient when it comes to some things. Other things I have a lot of patience with, like my children, but some things I'm just super impatient with. Um, so yeah, I was impatient. I was like, I haven't heard anything. It's been a week. So then I applied again using a seller referral link. And it was like two or three days after I did that, that I heard back. So I wasn't um, like denied the first time I applied. I just hadn't heard anything back. And I don't know if I recommend doing that because that can maybe like mess up your application. Things were different back then. It's different now. So yeah, I don't know. I definitely recommend using a seller referral link. I feel like that'll help you. And then just take pictures of your inventory and just show them what you got. That's really the only tips that I have. Okay, another question that I got a lot was must-haves for live selling. So I don't do my shows here. This is like my, <laughs> I look around, this room is a shit show right now. Um, this is currently my, uh, my, my YouTube room, my Christmas present storing room. I have a room upstairs where I do my shows. I have a background. It's really fun. It says rad all over the back. It's a tapestry that I got from what the hell is that website? Society6.com. It's not sponsored, but they have a shit ton of tapestries. This right here is um, like vinyl sticky shit that I got from Amazon. And I don't know if you can see, but there's like bubbles. Like, I don't know. This is, it's cute. It's cute, but I really like my tapestry that I use. I'm going to sneeze. I like to make my sneezes fun. 
towards the end. Oh, also, if my voice is like, ah, it's because I'm sick. Everyone in the house is currently sick. It's just, it's, it's I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, I would recommend like a cute background. Um, lighting is a must for sure. I think that's the most important thing. I have a ring light. You don't necessarily have to go out and buy a ring light if you can sit in front of a window. Natural lighting is always best when it comes to like pictures, videos. Um, a ring light is definitely the next best thing. You can get ring lights on Amazon for pretty cheap. The one that I have is the newer brand. I'll link it down below. It's like 50, 60 bucks. Good lighting. I also have a clothing rack where I hang up my clothes. Um, I don't know if you guys watched my shows back in the summertime, but I was doing lives for my front porch and I would have them like in a box. It's so much easier and more organized to have things on a clothing rack, on hangers. I have numbers on the hangers so I don't get confused. Everything's organized. Um, I guess I'm just going to tell you guys what I do and this is, this is what works for me. I also recommending using two devices. On whatnot, you can use two devices. I don't think that you can on Poshmark. Or you, it's coming soon, maybe. I don't know. They're so full of shit. They're like, yeah, coming soon. Bundling, shipping is coming soon. It's supposed to happen like a month ago. I don't know if it's happened yet. But on whatnot, you can use two devices. So I go live from my phone. I My video comes from my phone. I read the chat on my phone. And then I have my laptop over to the side. That's where I run things. And I think that that is so much easier than just running stuff from your phone. I know people do that. I don't like to do that. I, I like having the two separate things. You can use a phone, a computer. You can use a phone and an iPad. You can go live from an iPad, use a computer and a phone. Like you can, I don't know, whichever way you want to mix it up. But I definitely recommend using two devices for sure. I play music in the background. I think that's fun. I have a bump box. If you guys don't know what bump box is, I'll link them down below. I am a bump box affiliate. They're amazing. They make things fun. I mean, I guess you can get on there, you know, and just be professional and just sell, but I find it more fun when I go to shows where the seller is engaging to people and they talk to the chat and they're fun and they're not just like, this is for sale, or maybe they're like out of frame and they just show the item. I mean, people do that, but personally, I like when I can interact with the seller and it's fun and they make you feel welcome. That's just personally what I like. I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. I feel like that could be a whole other video, like live selling tips maybe and tools. Comment down below, let me know if that's a video that you guys wanna see. Couple more questions. I had a lot, but I, I didn't wanna make this video too long. But whatnot, regrets or mistakes? I don't think I have any. I feel like everything that I've done on whatnot has led me to the point where I am right now. And I like where I am right now. I mean, obviously I want growth, but I like where I am right now. So I feel like I wouldn't have, gotten this far without the things that I did. The only thing that comes to mind is putting my energy into people that don't deserve it um, and helping out people that don't deserve it and that turned out to be two-faced and <laughs> that could be a whole other video. You guys are probably dying for that video, like what not tea. Um, and that actually leads me into the next question. Are there bad sellers on whatnot and how can you report them? So unfortunately there are, there are. There's gonna be bad sellers, bad people everywhere. It's just life. You can report them to whatnot. You, going into the bad sellers, yes, it happens. People knowingly sell counterfeits. They try to get away with it. Some of them don't. Some of them do. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking right now, but she wants to go outside, but she like is unsure of the snow. There are bad sellers on whatnot. I mean, I can name a few. You guys know who I'm going to say. A seller in particular that really should not be on that platform, and she's currently being investigated by them, and I really hope that whatnot does the right thing and kicks her off the platform because that's what she fucking deserves because she's just a garbage person. Has been for years. You guys know what I'm talking about. That is it for this video. I hope I answered some questions that you have. If you have any more questions about whatnot, about live selling, comment down below and let me know. Or you can DM me on Instagram. I'll have my whatnot link down below. If you use my link, you will get a $15 credit to shop with me. I'm having a big show on Wednesday, December 21st. It is whatnot sponsored. It's going to be a Lululemon show. I'm giving away a $150 Lululemon gift card. It's a giveaway that's open to anyone. You don't have to make a purchase. So come to my show, hang out, support me, and try to win a gift card. That's it. Thank Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.